Well, hello there viewers! It is no doubt that a laptop is one of the most necessary needs of a student. Its importance cannot be overstated when it comes to portability and usage when it comes to academics. This is even more so when we are using the online mode of classes. The truth is, laptops and computers have become so indispensable in the life of students that not only one could be proved difficult. Ah. Hmm. Speaking of laptops, today we're going to compare the AMD A6 9210 processor with its Intel counterpart, well, in its benchmarking terms, the Intel Pentium D or B950. But before we delve deeper into the more technical part of the show, allow me to present a short background about the two brands. AMD or Advanced Micro Devices was founded in 1969 by Walter Jeremiah Sanders, a former executive at Fairchild Semiconductor Corporation. The company released its first product in 1970 and went public two years later. In the mid-1970s, the company began producing computer chips starting out as a second source manufacturer of computer chips. The company placed a great emphasis on quality and then grew steadily. In 1982, the company began supplying second source chips for Intel Corporation which made the microprocessor used in IMB personal computers. The agreement with Intel ended in 1986. In 1911, AMD released the AM386 microprocessor family, a reverse engineered chip that was compatible with Intel's next generation. Let us go with Intel. Intel was founded on July 18, 1968 by semiconductor pioneers Robert Noyce and Gordon Moore. Originally called NM Electronics for Noise and Moore, the company purchased the rights to use the name Intel, short for Integrated Electronics from a company called Intelco. Now that the introduction is done, let's go over the specs. First, we'll go with the AMD A6-9210. The AMD has a family of AMD A, while it has a CPU group of AMD A6-9000 and it is in the 6th generation, with the Stony Ridge Excavator as its architecture, while the Intel Pentium has a family of Intel Pentium, a CPU group of Intel Pentium 900, Generation 2, and the Sandy Bridge U for its architecture. Let us go to the CPU cores and base frequency. Both of them has two cores, two threads, a normal core architecture, no hyper-threading, and no overclocking. However, our A-core frequency will show a slight difference between the two. With the AMD having 2.40 GHz up to 2.80 GHz, while the Intel has only 2.10 GHz. Now for the internal graphics, the AMD has a AMD Radeon R4 Stony Bridge with 0.60 GHz for its GPU frequency, none for its GPU Turbo. It is 7th generation with 28 nanometer technology, 3 max displays, 3 execution units, 192 shaders, 2 GB of max GPU memory, and the version 12 of the RxX version. For the Intel HD graphics, we have 0.065 GHz of frequency which is just 0.5 higher than the AMD Radeon R4. For its GPU Turbo, we can notice that it has 1.10 GHz while the AMD Radeon has none. However, AMD Radeon takes the lead in the CPU GPU generation with the Intel HD graphics having 6 while the AMD Radeon has 7. In the manufacturing technology, we can also see that AMD Radeon takes the lead with 28 nanometers, while Intel HD has 32 nanometers. 
its max display also takes the lead with 3 while Intel has 2. In the execution units, Intel doubles the number into 6 while AMD for 3. The shader sh shows a significant difference with Y92 for AMD and 48 for Intel HD graphics. Intel HD has no max GPU memory and its direct X version is only 10.1. Let's go over the memory and PCIe. AMD uses the DDR4-2133 memory while Intel uses the DDR3-1066 to DDR3-1333. However, Intel takes the lead with the max memory of 16GB while AMD only has 8GB. With the memory channels, Intel has 2 and AMD has 1. Both has no bandwidth, no e ECC, L2 cache, same L3 cache with 2 MB each, while AMD has a 3.0 PCIe version while Intel has only 2.0. AMD has 8 PCIe lanes while Intel has 16. Now, comparing the CPU benchmark, we can see that the AMD is placed right here with a benchmark score of 238, while the Intel Pentium is placed with a score of 209. Now, for the most awaited part, the gaming test. Let us first start with GTA. As we can see here, the AMD Radeon R4 did a better job with the lowest settings at 30 FPS, high settings at 3 to 4 FPS, ultra setting to 0 to 1 FPS, quality HD with 144p to 0 to 1 FPS. The Pentium B950, however, with the UHD graphics, did not fare well as we can see it has no FPS, so that would either mean that the game is not compatible or it does not open with this kind of processor. We'll go over next to the next game which is Valorant. As usual, the AMD Radeon R4 displayed good performance with the low settings at 60 to 65 FPS, medium settings to 30 to 35 FPS, HD to 144 P 7 to 8 yes. The uh, Intel Pentium B950, however, still did not show the same FPS. That would either mean that the game is not compatible with the processor or it does not open. Let us go first with the pricing and practicality. Since that the AMD is a SOC built-in integrated for laptops, we can always assume that it will always be cheaper than the Intel Pentium which is a discrete CPU that is for desktops. Price-wise, the AMD is available for only 9000 9, with uh, as a whole laptop while the Intel can come at a price of 2000 to 5000 with only the CPU. We can also see from the benchmarks and the game results that AMD performs way way better than the its Intel counterpart. But in the end it all boils down to how we choose and what we choose. Thank you for watching and I hope you have learned something.